All right, guys, let's take a look at the Week 13 NBA preview to help you guys with your fantasy lineups for this coming week. Of course, we start, as we always do when looking at the uh, week preview, is who has the best schedule for the week, who has the worst. The Denver Nuggets clearly have the best schedule. They play five games this week, including a, a week starting back-to-back -back on Monday and Tuesday and a week ending back-to-back -back on Saturday and Sunday. Um, they have all five of their games on quality game days, so low volume. So streaming any of these guys, Mason Plumley, Malik Beasley, even Wancho Hernan Gomez or Monty Morris, who have seen their minutes reduced lately, you're going to be able to get some decent value out of them. And yeah, 20 minutes a night out of one of these guys, when you can use them five times during the week, that's 100 minutes in total for the week, is better than someone who plays yeah, three games in 30 minutes uh, with one of those three-game teams. So that is really, really important to, to pay attention to with usability, good volume, and those interesting back-to-backs as well for the Nuggets, one of the best schedules any team will have during this season. The worst schedule for this uh, week goes to the Miami Heat. They only have the three games, like quite a few other teams. Um, but uh, they do have them against tough opposition. The Denver Nuggets, the Boston Celtics, and the Memphis Grizzlies. On a positive side of things, all three of those games are on quality uh, game day, so low volume day, so streaming in players from the Heat will uh, will work to your advantage on those days, but locking them in weekly lineups, they all have a significant disadvantage given the quality of opponents that they're facing, Boston and Memphis and Denver, three of the best defensive teams in the NBA, and you pair that with the low amount of games that they play, just the three games in comparison to Denver's, Denver's five or yeah, a bulk of other teams playing four. The Miami Heat do have the worst schedule for this upcoming week. We'll be able to get some more information out of this uh, out of this week, uh, looking ahead into week 13. As I said, the Nuggets do play five games, so they are the best schedule there. There are 16 teams that play four games and 13 teams that play three games. The four-game teams, the Sixers, the Bucks, the Blazers, the Pistons, the Mavericks, the Jazz, Kings, Cavs, Rockets, Magic, Celtics, Lakers, Knicks, Hawks, Wizards, and Spurs. They All those teams play four games this week, while the remainder of the NBA plays three games. So you've got lots of games this week. It is an interesting week in terms of how the games are all spread out. Eight games Monday, eight games Tuesday, ten games Wednesday, four on Thursday, nine on Friday, eight on Saturday, seven on Sunday. Theoretically, you should be able to stream on at least five of those days. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. You might be able to stream on Friday with only nine games there. You might be able to do it on Wednesday with 10. Probably unlikely on the Wednesday, but a more spread out week of games than what we've seen in the past. The, the maximum games, 10, the lowest four, and nothing else under seven games. So an interesting spread of games for this week. I mentioned the Heat, they only have the three games. The Thunder also only have three games, as do the Clippers, but all three of their games are all on quality days as well. So compare that to, say, the Nets or the Pacers or the Bulls, who also have three games with only one quality game. It is showing you the big difference between how different three-game schedules can look, especially in those daily changes leagues. For the four-game teams, the Kings, uh, all four of their games are on quality days. There, there are no four-game teams that only have uh, only have one quality game because of the abundance of quality games this week. Um, but yeah, weaker teams like the Sixers, the Bucks, the Blazers, they only have two quality games for the week. The Cavs, the Rockets, uh, the Mavericks, the Jazz, the Lakers, the Hawks, the Wizards, the Raptors. Uh, so the Raptors are a three-game team. Those others only have two quality games for this week in comparison to the Kings who have four and a few others there that do have the three games. So when we're looking to uh, to stream these uh, these games, it is important to be able to, to pay attention to the right days to be able to get that action in and uh, activate those players on your team. So let's have a look how we can best utilize streaming for this week ahead. Again, we want to be looking at trying to get the most games out of the fewest waiver moves if possible, and that's by looking at back-to-backs or pseudo back-to-backs. The Monday, Tuesday back-to-back, -back, we've got the Rockets and the, uh, sorry, the Denver Nuggets play the Rockets and the Heat, so they've got that back-to-back -to, -back to begin the, the week. The Sacramento Kings also have that back-to-back, -back, and the New York Knicks have the Monday, Tuesday back-to-back. The Tuesday-Thursday combination, of course, Denver has that because they've got every quality game this week. But the Kings also have that combination of games also. And the Oklahoma City Thunder, the LA Clippers, and the Miami Heat have that Tuesday-Thursday combination. Thursday-Saturday, it's the Nuggets again. 
It's the Pistons who have that combo. The Kings have it as well. The Celtics also do. The Spurs have that, uh, as do the Thunder, the Clippers, and the Heat. And then to finish the week off, the Saturday, Sunday, back-to-back, it's the Nuggets, of course. It's the Orlando Magic, and they are the only two teams who have that back-to-back that does end the week off. So you're structuring your ads to get the most games played while using your weekly waiver wire acquisitions can be really key in getting that couple of game advantage in your fantasy league. Some players who do um, have some benefits uh, for this uh, for, for this week in terms of maybe being able to add them and lock them into lineups given the games they play or the oppositions they play. Tom Bryant, he probably should be added anyway, but I threw him in here. Derek Favors has a, a pretty strong uh, week ahead of him. Noah Vonley, DJ Augustin, Nemanja Bielica, Wes Matthews, Reggie Bullock, Jeremy Lin, and the Cornetto, Luke Cornett. These are some guys who could be available in your league who you could add, and they might actually make your weekly active roster. So worth having a look to see if you can get some value out of them for this week coming up. But it is a, a well-spread-out week with some clear advantages for certain teams. But streaming is going to be extra important this week and making the best use of your waiver acquisitions is going to go a long way to getting you victory.